I don't know. If again, I think it was dividing and con like divide and conquer. I think that's the easier way to do it. Find out where all the items are that you have to destroy, and then do it in one fell swoop. You know, don't because I think if anything, you'll get frustrated if you're like clear one out, then immediately go for the next, right? We're not going to bother killing these guys every time. We'll go to Stonehill. I'm waiting. <laughs> really wondering when some call me Johnny will get to uh, review in Spyro. He's probably my favorite reviewer to watch in all honesty. He's always had a good mix of uh, like, you know, he knows how to review, but he also knows how to like add personality in there and he even if you've been watching his videos for a long time, you know that, like, he kind of mentions, like, you know, his history with the game, or if it reminds him of something. So you, like, you know, every review, it's like you learn more about him, and I really like that. I really like that idea of, like, you know, kind of learning about this guy more and more as you watch his videos. I don't really know what my objective here is, but again, I think it's very much a, a thing of the time. When you free a dragon or step on one of its bloodshields, it's you saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Hmm. I don't know how much uh, differences there are between, you know, this remake and the original game. So if I if I say anything, that's like, like if if I like if there's something that they changed and I say, like don't you know? Basically, I'm saying if I make a statement that doesn't hold true for the old games, don't be too hard on me for it because I really don't know the old games. It will be in the video description or video title, but I am playing on the Xbox One X version of the game. Just because I know people love PlayStation. I don't know, most of the time I find videos for a little playthrough, it's usually on PlayStation, so I guess it, I just kind of like the idea. I should be quiet here. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> but I, I like the idea of, like, if someone's looking for a certain version of a game, uh, for whatever reason... Hey, okay. Oh, I think... Sparks, okay, so he's probably telling me I'm hurt right now. Hello. So yeah, if you, like, if someone's looking for a certain version of the game where they just, for whatever obscure reason, or just reason in general, that someone wants to see a certain version of the game, you know, I like to add it in the description, or title of the video, I should say. I think I know what TV I'm going to be getting. Uh, I'm just in the process right now of making sure that it is a good... Well, I already know it's a good TV, but 
you have to make like I don't want a TV that ends up having really bad input lag. I think it has around 11 milliseconds of input lag, which is definitely by no means bad. It's probably only like okay. The hell are these guys supposed to be? I don't really know if you get anything for beating or killing these sheep, you know? I know I got a key. Pyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Yeah. <laughs> the action button. What would that be in this case? Oh, X. Okay. When they say, when I hear like action button in games, I kind of just think of the action button as anything that's used to interact in like a level. You know, like hold X to reload your weapon or hold X to open a door, the, those kind of things. Nice. No, I didn't mean to go up. I gotta rescue the dragon. Gavin. <laughs> What's the dragonflies, Pyro? His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. All right. The game gives me an indication for an arrow. That's good. Alright, we've already been in here. Oh, come on. You know, anything that lets me take a sip of my drink is fine with me. And they just run away. Is there a way to know what ones I've done? Because you, if you have bad memory like me, you're gonna forget. <laughs> we can do the one in the maze now. I hope I don't like end up replaying something I played already. Ooh, look at that night sky. It's beautiful. Dark hollow. But yeah, so when I finish the these first three Spyro games, the plan is to go back and play the other one. So the other two Spyro games, uh, including, I think it's Hero's Tale, the one that has, it's considered to be bad because it's buggy and so on. Okay, so he has a shield, so I imagine we got to bash that. Come here. I love that guy up there. Also that, the other area I just did, I did watch... Ow. Uh, I definitely didn't think it'd be a one hit. But there was a video I watched, uh, just to see how the game was coming along, you know, like, uh, just a short gameplay and they were playing the area, so I kind of knew some of the stuff in that area. No. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you could sleep through the noisy creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but few complaints. 
Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Thank you. Man, think of all the uh, work they would have had to do to come up with each of these designs, right? Do the different color of the gems really mean anything? Again, I do not know. <laughs> I was trying to... I kept hitting the wrong button. Oh, I think Sparks is gone. There he is. Okay, there's a return home. Oh, I got sparks back. I forgot, I gotta hit X, because that will make me drop. I know there's a key somewhere over here. Uh, uh, hang on. Got a life. Oh, look at that. That is some serious attention to detail. Like look how like look how far apart his legs are right now, and then if I go to close to an edge, he's hun he's like a cat. <laughs> that is some serious attention to detail. Oh, I love that. Ooh. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna have to charge and then fire him. I don't know. I'm running away. Okay, no. Alright. <laughs> Hello. What is that? Hmm? I can just infinitely dodge roll. There's the key. It didn't say we got all dragons, right? We're still missing some. Okay, so it seems like uh, the frogs have the butterflies. I don't know how long these games are either. Like, I don't know if these are going to be... if, Like, because this is three games in one package, I'm sure it will be fairly long. Uh, but I really don't know. Is there a way to check? Oh, okay, it's right there at the bottom. So we do have all dragons in this area. Alright, so... There's over here. Let's not do that.
<laughs> it's so funny because there's that part of me that just wants the new TV like now, like right away. But then there's that part of me that's like, you don't need it. <laughs> Marco the Bloonist. All right. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Let's stay here for now. Assume we should rescue all dragons. I think I didn't mention, but dragons are one of my favorite mythical creatures. Well, they're the my favorite mythical creature, really. I don't think there's anything that compares to them. This is the dragon I didn't rescue. Look what he's in front of. Challenge him now if you feel you are ready. Oh, does it just open when I get close? Okay. Um. We did Stone Hill. I'm definitely not looking to 100% or anything, for the record. I'm just not that kind of guy. Entering Town Square. You know, who, which of you guys would like to see Spyro in Super Smash Bros for DLC, you know? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That'd be pretty cool. I think there was already some people who were like, I'd love to see Spyro and Crash in, you know, Super Smash Bros. Since they're not exclusively Sony characters, they're well known for, for, uh, for PlayStation because of, because initially they were PlayStation exclusive games. Oh man, look at this guy. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bull. Use the right stick to get a good look. Oh, that zoom in. Oh, he knocked it over. Also, he was making a... It looked like he was making a statue, Spyro. Ooh. So you guys aren't down for the count in the first set. All right. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Oh shit, I didn't notice that was water under me. Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wig. Did you know that you get your longer strides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Oh no. I think I can see where this is going. I think we're gonna get some repeated uh, help stuff, which is, I, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised, but I will just have to see if it gets really bad or not, because I'd rather just have them, like, have some of them give you helps, but uh, it's, it's just one of those minor things. I'm not going to say the game's bad because of it, because it's not. Okay, fire is just an insta-kill. Run! Oh, I'm getting a little winded. 
All right, then. <laughs>